Hello and welcome back to a VR Critic Guide. Now today what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you uh, one of the training aspects on IB Cricket. And instead of playing in one of the stadiums, if you just want to have a knockabout or practice a couple of shots, you can actually go onto the practice ground and uh, just have a, um, a knock. You can just select what type of bowling you want. Let's have a look. If you remember how to get to it, <laughs> uh, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it's in the uh, coaching and practice area. And uh, we're going to go to stadium practice. Right, so as you can see, we are in a practice ground. There's no stadiums. It's a lovely scenery of mountains with a lovely clubhouse there. It's a beautiful clubhouse. So look, here we go. Set your preferences. We can have easy bowling, medium bowling, hard, insane, ultra insane. You can choose what bowling line you want. You can have it all lines, you can customize it and just literally select what line you want them bowling. So what I'm gonna to do today, I'm just gonna show you playing some pull shots. And sometimes it takes a bit of time just to get the right line. So we're gonna go for hard bowling, uh, we're gonna go on the stumps. We're gonna go short pitch bowling, red ball, um, normal, normal ball selection, uh, right arm bowler, and uh, we're gonna go fast, quite fast. Uh, on a normal, um, let's go bouncy actually, bouncy. Right-handed batsman, continue, I'm hoping now. That will give me enough examples of short pitch delivery that we can pull away to the boundary. So it's not quite short enough actually. So we can go ahead and change that if we like. Let's go play a few more, see how we go. Oh, I see, that's good actually. It's slightly varied, so it's short pitch deliveries, but some are very short, some are Nice short. Ah, so there we go, that's good length and good line. That's the sort of ball I'm looking for, really. But again, you have to be on your guard because not every ball will come through. Yeah, so we can go ahead and change now because I'm not happy with that. Some balls aren't quite uh, where I want them. We'll go ahead and pick up the control box, change the options. And we're going to change it from, let's go to, let's go to medium, <laughs> let's go and hit the bloody thing. And let's go to customise the lining length. So it's customise uh, the line. The line's probably about right, to be honest, let's leave it there. It's the length, I want to bring the length back a little bit. So custom, bring the length back, just point where you want the length. Actually what it's doing is letting me put the ball wherever I like actually. So it's line and length. I reckon about there, let's have a look. Yeah, now it's too, too far down the next side. <laughs> yeah, let's change it again. So a good example really, it's, just good, it's a good demonstration really of what you need to do to get everything completely how you want it. Back into change options. So the ball's pitched there and going down the legs. We'll bring the, the line over. Um, let's have a look. Let's try that. Yeah, that's about perfect, and it's straight to its course. But as a pulling shot, or pulling delivery, I think it's about right. Yeah, there we go. We've finally got it in the right place. So if you want to practice your pull shots, you can fiddle around with the settings until you're happy. The ball won't pitch exactly the same spot, otherwise that would be a bit boring. Right, the top tip. That's the top edge. Yeah, but I, I find this is much better than a bowling machine. Beautiful. Specs of hands. <laughs> For some reason they've um, included a bowling machine mode in this game as well. So I think it's totally pointless. Why would you want a bowl machine if you've got real bowlers to bowl it to, to bat against? So yeah, so don't have to play in stadiums, don't have to just play against competition. You can easily just pop into the I don't know, I think might have to call it a name, the mountainside ground, the the, the hills ground. You can um, put the ball wherever, wherever you like to try and hone your skills. Yeah, 
So I've planned it far too early. That's better. Still going straight to the fielder. Can't really, I can't really get hold of one. Still coming off the top of the bat. Just trying to stay tall. Oh, last wedge. That's better. Straight to the fielder. Over top. Oh, he's caught it. <laughs> Brilliant. That's better. Well, a few more of those, please. Oh, another big top edge. Sails over the top. That's number six. It's gone down the hill. And it's travelling all the way down the hill, 133 metres. Leading back and cutting it. Oh, that's only nice. That's gone miles. Down the hill it goes. 127 meters. This is only 70, 70, 73 miles an hour. We can get hold of them. Very satisfying. Let's do a few more of these, I think, and then we'll show something else. Oh, what's going on here? Leaning back. Now, I remember 25 years ago when I'd done my first coaching course, the pull shot wasn't called pull shot. It was called Hit a Leg. And uh, I remember specifically the coaching, or the coaches were, were taking the course saying that there's no such thing as rolling the wrist. Wow, that's a good, that's good shot, that's gone miles. And what they were trying to uh, emphasize that the pull shot is a hit down. So you're hitting the ball down from from there, rather than that, what they're trying to say, there's no such thing as rolling the wrists. You now, saying so if you're facing 90 miles an hour rolling, there's no way you can roll the wrist and tie the ball. So, they were trying to emphasize the fact that it's a high back lift and hitting the ball down. Whether that's still the way they teach it these days, I don't know. The coaching, the coaching does change a hell of a lot, as I'm aware. One year you've been taught that, next year you're saying that's, that's total rubbish. Boom, there we go. So I'm fully aware, it's like um, anything in sport, the techniques and coaching does change with new techniques, new ideas. So that's just one example that I know of that may have changed. Being told there's no such thing as rolling the wrist was quite a point. So a lot of uh, people doing the course I was on, all, all, all good cricketers, but none of them realised that Rolling the wrists isn't really happening when you're playing pull shot. Let's show you what I said earlier about the bowling machine. I never quite understood why they've included a bowling machine. I think it's because people just expect to see a bowling machine. <laughs> Me personally, I've always, always hated bowling machines in real life. Uh, I'm not sure about how the new technology is these days, but 25 years ago when I used to uh, set up bowling machines for the, the Kim professionals, or any club cricketer who hired the bowling machine out for a day, or a couple of hours, sorry, when I was uh, working at the Ames Olympic Sports Centre at Kent. Uh, bowling machines, to me, I thought, well, they, they just don't seem right, because uh, they just never seem natural to me. You're just standing there waiting for the ball to pop out. And you're never quite sure when it's going to come. <laughs> so to, to get the timing right, and to actually uh, know when the ball's coming, it always felt a bit alien. So let's... Uh, Let's do what I was doing earlier. Let's, uh, let's go on to uh, short pitch bowling, normal balls. Let's change the, uh, I think it's about here somewhere, I think it's probably about right. I need to change it first, a custom length of line. Uh, about there. Again, even in real life, you're standing there, not really sure when the ball's coming. So 
So I always, always found bowling machines a little bit, a little bit, um, I don't know, it. I never really liked them. I mean, again, maybe the bowling machines have changed these days, but uh, the ones I used to see are very temperamental. Never quite sure when the ball was actually going to be released. Sometimes they would rattle around in the bowling machine itself before being popped out. So this is a good line in length to be able to do a late cut for. Just trying to cut it late down to third man. And we'll just a bit uppish. But another training tool if you're into bowling machines. Oh, played on. Uh, let's have about there, let's see what happens. It's normally quite excellent. Enough forward defensive now, it's changed the line in length. Maybe catching a few singles on that left side. I don't that one's inside edge. Okay, so that's forward defensive, easy peasy. Let's pitch it up a bit more and see if we can. Uh, Off stump, see where that goes. Oh. There we go, let's smash that now, can't we? And we'll smash at these. Not exactly textbook, but let's go that. And block. Well, what I like, if you look around, it is like a training arena or academy. Uh, <laughs> you can see a stadium over there in the background. So it does look like a nursery. But this is what I don't like, is you can't really get yourself set. Tommy press next ball, but really, ready for it, unless you, just, you can stare at it and it'll come down. Oh no! <laughs> so again, we'll just change it again now, just towards more of the leg side delivery. Bring it over to the middle, that's too wide, about there. Drive it through the off. One drive straight. That's a fish. Put that on the floor. Oh. Now, try to whip it across the next side. Oops. Again, they just come out a bit too quick for me. Straight up. But up. Want that straight or through the on. Yeah. So we're playing through the offside. Uh, 
into the legs at time. Here we go, slowly getting into the groove now. So yeah, so you can get quite sweaty against the bar machine. And relentless ball after ball after ball. <laughs> wild swings after wild swings. Right, come on, six, six ones. Well, here we go, that'd be the last one there. Let's go on sailing. Now you can see how sometimes I'm out of breath. Just relentless, ball off the ball off the ball. Right, that's been practice ground, that's been the bowling machine. Now if you want to play this, you need the Oculus Quest 2. Uh, the bat is optional and the headset is optional, but uh, if you can just play it, it might be clear with just the headset, which is the MetaQuest 2 that you can buy from Amazon. Hit the link in the description. And that's it from me, I'm off the shower. Cheers, bye.